If you ask people on keto two things that they miss, they tell you bread or potatoes. And we've tried to conquer the potato on this channel before. We did a mashed potato showdown, which was hearts of palm versus cauliflower mash. And then there was always a disaster where we tried to make heavenly fans keto french fries and then redeemed ourselves. But there's still a couple of potato options that we're missing out on. And those are hash browns and tater tots. We have found two promising recipes that we're gonna try today. So the first recipe comes from Delish and it says, these cheesy nuggets of joy may be better than the real thing. We'll see. But before we start, I think I heard a delivery being dropped off. So we're gonna go check out what that might be. So ever since Sarah and I started this YouTube channel, I have felt that I don't have the proper aesthetic equipment to make YouTube videos. And my cookware, it just is lackluster. So I have been stalking a brand called Caraway for a long time because they have absolutely stunning cookware sets. And funnily enough, because I've obviously manifested this, they reached out to us a couple weeks ago and said that they wanted to sponsor a video on our channel and send us some of their beautiful cookware. So one of the very impressive things about Caraway is that their pan set actually comes with a storage system with no additional cost, which is amazing. One of the most important things to me when looking for new cookware is that it is 100% non-toxic ceramic cookware and that is what Caraway offers. Caraway allowed us to choose which colors that we wanted and Sarah went with the gray. I chose the sage green because I was trying to be a little bit different and I just really love that color. I have been looking into this brand for so long and you know being keto we care about what we're putting into our bodies and buying something that is non-toxic is an investment into your health and the aesthetics of your home. We are so grateful to Caraway for sending us these pants and they have given us a coupon code for you guys. By using our special link, you can get 10% off site-wide and that link should be live now. So let's get started with our keto potato recipe. So this recipe seems pretty straightforward. We will put all the ingredients right here, but you're gonna need cauliflower and egg, shredded cheddar, Parmesan, panko breadcrumbs. We're obviously not gonna be using panko breadcrumbs, so we're just trying this new brand, Pork Bill Pork Rind Crumbs, and I ordered this on Amazon, we can link it below. So it says here you're supposed to use steamed cauliflower florets, but we just use cauliflower rice. Uh, we got it from Whole Foods, it's um, like a $1.99 a bag. This is four cups of cauliflower rice that we've microwaved for about six minutes. I'm going to put it on a clean kitchen towel and wring out the excess moisture. So we have our what's left of it, um, cauliflower rice. I'm gonna be adding in the rest of our ingredients. We're gonna go in with pork rinds, that's two thirds of a cup. We have one cup of shredded cheddar, one cup of freshly grated Parmesan, one egg, and some chives. And then we're gonna throw in some salt and pepper to taste. No garlic? <laughs> I think a great way to mask up the flavor of the cauliflower is to add garlic. Like, I don't see how you could go wrong with that. So we are going to be adding half a tablespoon of garlic powder into this recipe. I'm going on the fly. I'm, I'm taking a risk. So Sarah and I figured that the best way to test if these potato substitutes actually taste like potato is to eat potatoes because we haven't eaten them in so long that we are going to be sampling the real thing alongside our faux counterparts. So we will be served up one tater tot and one small hash brown patty. Don't be jealous. It's for science. We're not enjoying it. So here we have our tater tot mixture. It looks more like stuffing, doesn't it, Sarah? Mm -hmm. We're going to take about a tablespoon and onto clean hands, form our tater tot shapes. I'm gonna assume that this is gonna go how it usually is when I have to make several of these things. They start off normal and then they get bigger and bigger because I get lazier and lazier. So let us begin. Evaluation. It's a nugget. That's fine. They smell good. They might not look like tater tots, but 
I'm hopeful about this recipe. So you're supposed to put them in the oven at 375 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. You can also cook these in the air fryer. We will leave a link to the original delish recipe so you can check out the instructions for that. So I'm gonna put these in the oven and then Sarah's gonna get started making her potato substitute hash browns. Okay, so next up, our next faux potato recipe are hash browns. We've actually made hash on our channel before using radishes and we really like them. Some people don't like them, but we do. This recipe actually uses cabbage, which, you know, I don't know how this one's gonna turn out, but we experiment so that you guys don't have to. So this recipe is also from Delish. We will link it in the description below. So I took a cabbage and I shredded it to the best of my ability. And um, I probably should have shredded it a little thinner. We'll find out later if this works out. I also put a shredded onion, one fourth of one, into a bowl. And we're going to be adding in our wet ingredients, which includes two eggs, some garlic powder, salt and pepper to taste. I like looking at comment sections because you learn so many hints and tricks that you can apply to your recipe. I saw that people like to put some sort of cheese into their hash because it helps it hold up together when it's cooking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my wet and dry ingredients and combine them into a bowl. I'm gonna put it into my cabbage and onion mixture. My mixture is combined. I'm gonna go in with one fourth of a cup of grated Parmesan. I'm just eyeballing it here, but I just want enough cheese to make it stick together. I don't want this to be overpowered by the Parmesan. So I'm gonna take my hash mixture and I'm just gonna put it flat into my pan into one layer. I know some people like to form patties out of it, but I feel like I'm gonna get a nice caramelized brown color if I just do one flat layer instead of small individual patties. So I'm not really sure how long this is gonna to take to get nice and brown. A lot of the comments said that you need to like reduce it. Cabbage is pretty much water. So you're gonna to wanna to try to evaporate as much of that water that you can so that they can get nice and crispy. I'm just gonna keep it here for a while and I'm gonna check on it in like five minutes maybe to see if we're getting that nice caramelization that we're looking for. Okay, so it's been about five minutes and we're gonna lift up a corner and see how we're doing. Ready? Mm -hmm. yeah. <gasps> I mean, that's what you want, right? Hmm. It's been 20 minutes. We're gonna check on our tater tots and see if they're done. I'm looking for more of a brownish color. These are your standard tater tots and see how they're like brown. That's the kind of color I'm looking for. And so I'm gonna leave them in for a couple more minutes, maybe like three or four more minutes. So we're gonna finish cooking our hash browns and then we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna try it. So we did make hash browns. We got like the bag of hash browns from Whole Foods. It looks like just a pile. We have our cabbage hash browns that look like egg foo young. We have my tater tots that are way too big and then Whole Foods tater tots that our husbands are going to be consuming afterwards. So we're gonna do the tater tots first. For traditional tater tots, okay, it says here the half of a cup of tater tots is 46 total carbs. So Sarah and I will be having one. Do we Ooh. try ours first or the real thing first? We eat the real thing first and okay. then and then we will try ours. So smells like a potato. Mm. Mm. It's the Irish in this. It's like a tater top. Yeah, I mean that's what it is. <laughs> Here we have our nuggets. They're not nuggets. They're uh, they look more like nuggets. They smell good. They smell really garlicky. I'm surprised at how crispy they are. They are pretty crispy. We are using a little bit of the ketchup from Primal Kitchen. We can link below. Hmm. It tastes good, but it doesn't taste like a tater tot to me. You know what it tastes like? It kind of tastes to me like a chicken nugget. Yeah. Which is weird. It doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste like a tater tot. It kind of reminds me of like a biscuit. Yeah, kind of. Which is weird. I like them though. Uh-huh. They're crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. I could have been better about shaping them, but I just actually, got Actually, I think that the, the flatness actually worked to your advantage because that's the really brown part. So making them like flat actually worked out. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm not sure about the carb count. I will tabulate it. It's way less than its counterpart. I would say that I would pick the cauliflower tots over the regular. Really? 
I think they're a good keto replacement. I think that you could add different flavors in here if you wanted to. You could make ranch flavored ones. Those would be really good. I wonder if you could use broccoli and make a cheddar broccoli tot. Huh. Like those uh, broccoli rice. What if you had this and you made it flat and then you put sour cream and chives and bacon bits on it? Like, like a, a loaded baked potato yeah. type of thing? I that think that would be, be really good. good. Next up, we have Sarah's Cabbage Hash Experience that looks kind of like Yag Fu Young. It smells good, though. It, it smells like hash browns to yeah. me. Well, I think it's the garlic. Yeah, probably. Here we have our traditional hash browns. <sighs> Brings me back. <laughs> I love hash browns. Haven't had them in probably five years. Mm -hmm. So this has 46 grams of total carbohydrates per one cup, and I could easily eat, like, four cups yeah, at a same. sitting. I'm just gonna have a little. You went right for the one Of I course. Wanted. Fine, I'll just have this much, okay? This is it. It does bring me back to that time where I would inhale like a whole, the, the plate this big of it. Uh huh. So let's try delicious recipe of the cabbage hash. It does give me Egg Foo Young vibes, which I like Egg Foo Young. Do you like it? That's a big piece. I mean, there was a lot of egg in this. I think there's like two eggs, so it kind of tastes like an omelet with cabbage in it. I don't think it's bad. No, no. I mean, what if you had this with like some eggs on top? More eggs? <laughs> Maybe made if you made it smaller and shredded it thinner and made it in a thinner layer. I saw in the comment section that someone actually cooked the cabbage and the onions with some oil just to get it nice and sauteed and brown before they added the egg. And the egg at the end kind of made it like a solid thing huh. um, so that you're able to caramelize the cabbage without burning the eggs because what is brown on top are the eggs. Right. The cabbage is not caramelized here. And I think that maybe that's a good way to go around it is to caramelize the onion and the cabbage first. Add in your egg mixture so that you can form the patty. Maybe I'll do that next time. We're going to say that this recipe, it doesn't taste like this. If you're looking for this and you make this, you're going to be disappointed. However, if you accept this for a tasty cabbage delight, uh -huh. then maybe you'd like it. I think it would taste great with some, like an Asian kind of influence right. as yeah. well. Soy sauce. Right. Yeah. As a replacement for hash, I'm going to say no, but a tasty dish nonetheless. And that's with everything that we try to replace on keto. You have to like accept it for what it is. Not that it's going to actually replace that carb filled option, but it's a good enough replacement to get you by and that it's just tasty by itself. And if you guys just started keto and you just had hash browns, this is probably not going to fill that your void. It's not going to fill that void for you. But for someone like me that's been on keto for almost three years, I like this recipe. Overall, they are two great dishes. I really like the tater tots and Sarah likes her thing, obviously. I do. <laughs> if you guys have any recipes that you would like us to try and share with all of you, please leave a comment below or tag us on Instagram at Keto Twins Official. Thanks so much again to Caraway for sponsoring this video. And remember to click that link to check out the amazing, beautiful cookware that they have. Use our special link below and it will give you 10% off your order. And a couple weeks ago, we did a really fun video. We think it's hilarious. We included our husband and we made the ultimate keto burgers and then had them do a blind taste test. If you guys want to see that video, it's worth watching. You can click on this video right here and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Emily. And I'm Sarah. And, and we, we are, are the Keto, Keto Twins, twins signing, signing out. out.